So hi everybody, this is Erin. Um, I have a little bit of a personal post that we're gonna do today. One of uh, the designers that I've worked with on various teams, she has lost her grandson. Um, her, he was very young and it was kind of a shock to all of us and it was a choking situation. That's, you know, one of those things that you don't really expect. And he, I think he was just over a year old or maybe he was 13 months or seven months, very young. Um, and it kind of hit home. So as some of you may or may not know, I don't know how many of you have read some of my personal things that I have on my blogs and whatnot, but I have a little girl who passed away when she was four months old. So this is her picture. She was four months old and she died of SIDS and it was very sudden. I was at work. I used to teach high school science and that was the last day I set foot in the classroom. Uh, since then I've been home and part of my way of coping with everything, and this was seven years ago, she'd be in second grade right now, her name is Kristen, um, is to do art. And so that's how I really got into scrapbooking is because I needed a way to connect with her. Um, she is my second, I have an older son, so he was three when it happened, and since then I've had two others. So I'm a mom of four, even though I only have three children here at home. Um, but every day I would be up, and this would be for, oh, probably the first four or five months after she passed away, uh, I would do pages of her, tons of pages. I would be scrounging to find pictures of her so I could keep her close. And uh, it just morphed into something I had to do every day. And when they say art is therapy, it is true. It is really what has been my savior and has helped me get through all of this. And partly why I also opened up this particular channel is because I wanted to share my love, my teaching love, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of tearing up now, um, of my art and my fun. And, you know, that's why you see my kids doing it, my daughter's hands and they're doing the art too, is because it's a way to still stay connected. So when I heard about um, my friend whose grandson passed away, you know, I contacted her and we were Facebook messaging back and forth. and you know, kind of telling her all the ups and downs. And, you know, it's been a number of years for me, but it never really goes away. Um, we all decided as a team and as a group to send her uh, mementos. And so what we've decided to do is to do these um, ATCs. So all of us, we're gonna mail them. And then another person is going to compile them all together and we're going to send them to her. She doesn't know this is happening yet, so this is going to be kind of a fun surprise for her. Um, and the entire crafting community of all designers and other artists and stuff have all gotten together and have kind of sent her some things. And the deadline's tomorrow <laughs> um, to get it in the mail. So it's been a little hard for me to kind of get going on this because it's been a, kind of an emotional roller coaster. It's bringing me back to the emotions I had as soon as my daughter passed away. But I need to do it. I know I do. Um, for her, for me, and uh, just kind of get through this hurdle. There's another thing. And this video is a whole lot harder than I thought it was going to be to say all this to you guys. I found a poem, and I don't even think I can say it right now without really, really crying. So um, it was the same poem that was read at my daughter's funeral. And I was going to write it on the ATC. So. I'm gonna cut because I can't do this anymore. And just so, uh, one of the things there's two things that latched on, and I, I know I, I'm kind of connecting it to my daughter, and um, and I know it's not about me, but for anybody who's ever had a loss, when a loss is so close to um, your own, you feel it, and it just you know you hear of another mother who's lost a child, and you immediately can connect with them. It's not a club you want to be a part of <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. It's it's one you wish you never were in, it, but you, you get those that are in your boat with you. So I don't think I can talk through this, so I'm just going to speed through.
My original intention was to do this side and have just the green be the, the back side that I would glue the poem to, but I really liked the look of it, so I decided to do one of each. And I kind of did some greeny tones and some blue tones and then the green in the background. So on the back side of all of them is a little tiny, these are my footprints poem or the tiny footprints poem. So I'm glad I did these. I'm glad I got a chance to get them done. And, you know, as I was sitting there making them, um, I definitely got a sense of peace. And I know that seems weird, but anybody who's ever had a loss or had troubles or depression or anything, you know, when you're tr focusing on something else versus what your problems are, especially when it comes to art, it really helps. So I got a chance to just kind of forget for a little while, which is nice. For anybody who's ever had a loss, for anybody who's ever had a child or a parent or, you know, anybody close to them, I am truly sorry. I know what it's like. Never easy, you know, get over it. You just take, you know, the next step and you for your day as best as possible. So how I get through is I create. So thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you guys soon too. Bye bye.